Hey guys, my name is Dustin Coffee. I'm the head guide at Chitola Resort in Blowing Rock. And we're out here on a beautiful spring day. I'm with Angus, he's the general manager. Hello. And we're going to talk a little bit about fishing in general, about uh, how to land fish. We're going to have big fish here today. So some of the things that I'm going to talk about don't apply to like salt water or, or other things like that. But out here on free mountain streams or a small pond or lakes, they're very applicable. Um, the best thing you have going for you when you're fishing is the computer you carry between your ears. So my grandpa used to say the number one mistake an angler makes is moving too fast. It's like I talk too fast, so I will try to slow it down, okay? <laughs> so best thing you can do is take your time. When you first get to the stream, the first thing I want you to do is look around you. Enjoy where you're at. While you're doing that, identify your hazards, number one. Look around, look at the trees, put that in your computer. Number two is learn to read water, foam lines, bubble lines, anything like that. It's all a game of odds, and if you can put your fly in front of the fish for the most amount of time as possible, it's going to increase your odds for, set, for hooding, hooking up and catching and landing the fish. So, number one, take your time, look around you, identify your hazards. Number two, learn to read the water. Number three is pull off enough line to get there, okay? So what we're going to talk about today right here basically is just the basic positioning of, of your hands, what to do. That way, whenever you hook up on a fish, if you do hook up on a fish, you won't you know, you'll know what to do, you'll know how to react, and you'll have a chance of bringing that fish to the net instead of watching your, watching your memory go away, okay? So, casting position and fishing position is a couple things I like to talk about. Casting position, you always hold your line out between your, in your, in between your index finger and your thumb. So go ahead and pull your line out there, Angus, and just hold it out here in your hand, like, kind of like this. There you go, just like that. Okay, this is casting position, okay? You have more dexterity and control with your line out here in between your index finger and your thumb and you do trying to cast in what I call fishing position. And that's where your line is behind your finger, just like that. You can put your line behind your finger, Angus. There you go. Just like that, in your finger. This is what we call fishing position. This is how you maintain what my grandpa called line discipline. Okay? You don't, if you try to fish in casting position like this and you're out here and you cast and you're fishing like this right here and the fish eats, two things are going to happen, okay? You're going to go boom! And then you're going to be like, oh, okay, I'm in trouble and you're either going to drop the rod, in which case slack's going to come in your system, the fish is gone, or you'll do this, you'll try to give it the old bite, try to get more. But if you're, if you're fishing in fishing position and your line, hands in behind your finger and that fish eats, boom, now you can reach and you can pull behind your finger and you can maintain a bent rod, okay? And maintaining a bent rod, that's what fish, a straight rod loses fish, a bent rod lands fish, okay? So you always want to maintain a bent rod. And if your line is behind your finger, from the moment you come up, you can maintain that bent rod. If that fish wants to pull away from you, you can allow it to slide through your finger, maintaining a bent rod, okay? Another mistake that people always make when they're hooking up on a fish and the fish pulls hard, they want to help it. They want to bring the rod towards the fish. In fly fishing, your rod never moves towards a fish your rod only moves away from a fish, okay? So when you hook up and that fish pulls away, don't try to help it. Don't point your rod tip down. Your, your antidote to that is to get your finger clear of the line and pull back and trust your mechanical advantage, okay? And we'll see some of that in action down here on the river today. Okay, so casting position. Go ahead and put it in casting position, that's good. And then transfer to fishing position. And practice that at home. Practice casting position, fishing position. You've clapped your whole lives. Your, that computer between your ears should know where your hands are. So you can just you can keep your eyes on the field of battle and then transfer your hand line behind your finger just like that. That way you'll be you'll be in gear when the fish comes up. We're gonna do it right here. Okay, so rod position. So casting position, fishing position. Okay, so you want to be fishing in fishing position. So if that, if that fish eats, so we're just, we're just pretending your rod tips up. You always your rod positioning is another thing. High sticking your here, all that stuff, but from what I've gathered in, in my all my years of fly fishing is I like to have my rod a little bit higher than my eye, eye level and I like to maintain that through my drift. Uh, that's from what I've gathered from what I've done that's a good angle it lets me have still a good high stick sometimes I will extend my arm out if necessary but for the most part I keep my rod tip about this distance and I match my drift. They're not eating a great cast. They're not eating the cast all the way across the thing. They're eating a great drift and I can move to those sections slowly. Remember my grandpa number one mistake an angler makes is moving too fast so take your time pick your path uh, as you move to it. You, you've got plenty of time use it. Okay, so pull back on your rod real hard, and we'll talk about that, rod positioning. Most people do not put enough pressure on their, on their rod when they're putting these big fish in. And that tells you a lot. So you can see the bend of that rod. 
Remember, straight rods lose fish, bent rods land fish. So I'll show you a little bit of a straight rod. So that, I think you just hold your line and pull back. Just keep pulling back hard. There you go, Angus. Good, just like that. So as I let up on it, see how that rod straightens out? That is actually slack. Okay, that fish can move, he can create distance in there, and that little barbless hook will float right out of his mouth, and he's a memory, he's just gone. He's, oh, there he was, there he, he's gone. Okay, so pull back on that rod real hard, Angus, there you go. You always want to maintain good position, good bent rod, good, okay, that's a mechanical advantage. You pull back, they're going to pull, when they, when, they, when they take it, you let them have it. The moment they stop, you take back smoothly everything that they stole from you. So, take your finger off the line there, Angus, all right, now pull back hard on that rod. Now, believe it or not, that's about how hard, how much bent that rod needs to be for these big fish. Pull back real hard. It's going to be heavy. Two hands. Yeah, there you go. It. Now, I'll pull this drag there off. You feel it pull off? That's when your mechanical advantage engages right there. Drag system. Boom. And then when he runs, when he goes, you let him run. When he stops, go ahead and reel, Angus. Get it tight. You always want to keep that rod back. Remember, rods never move towards fish. They only move away. Slack is your enemy. So pull back hard, pull back hard, pull back hard. All right, here's another thing. When that fish is coming in, he's coming in, he's coming in, he's coming in. All right, now he's going to do the old shuffle. And he's going to run hard. When he runs, hand off the reel, angle. There you go. You let him run. You let him run. You embrace that storm. The moment he stops, you're reeling, you're reeling, you're reeling. Get him, Angus. Get him, get him. Oh, he's down again. There you go. Go oh, get him, Angus. Get him. Reel on him, Angus. Reel on him. He's gone again. There you go. You're reeling. Go ahead and reel him all the way up. Really him all the way up, really him all the way up, really him all the way up. He's gone again. <laughs> I'm just playing, I'm just playing. But that's how you do it, all right?